As you focus your attentions this morning to express your worship uh, of God and what's all going on in our world, um, we want to worship in two ways today. And the first way is to uh, just express what we know to be true about God to others. And so I want to encourage and challenge you to head on to one of your social media accounts and post something that you know to be true about God. If uh, you know God's forgiveness and restoration, then put that on your Facebook status. Um, God is forgiving and has restored my life. Uh, maybe a short video on your YouTube or Instagram account saying, uh, ex expressing what you know to be true about God. Uh, if you don't have uh, any social media accounts, what I'd encourage you to do is to write a note or a card uh, to somebody or a text and message them and say, I just want to share with you uh, this truth that I know about who God is. The second way we want to encourage uh, our worship and focus today is to pray, and specifically prayer for our nation. Now, I must confess that um, sometimes uh, this uh, leaves my mind to be praying for our government, and uh, I think the things that are happening in our nation right now uh, is a way that God is highlighting to us the importance of, uh, at least for me, the importance of praying for our country and praying for those in positions of leadership. And so in 1 Timothy chapter 2, it says, pray for every political leader and representative so that we would be able to live tranquil, undisturbed lives as we worship the awe-inspiring God with pure hearts. It is pleasing to our Savior, God, to pray for them. He longs for everyone to embrace his life and return to the full knowledge of the truth. So as we uh, pray this morning, uh, take some time to pray with the people that you are watching with, to be um, praying for the things that you're seeing on the screen, praying for um, uh, government to trust their lives to Jesus, to experience um, discernment from God, to be given wisdom by the Holy Spirit, uh, to be thanking God for the safety that's been provided so far, and to pray that there would be a continuation of peace and resolution and conversation in the midst of uh, everything that's going on in the divisions, that there would be unity. Uh, so take some time uh, and see how it is the Spirit leads you to pray uh, for our nation, uh, for these protests that are taking place and everybody that's involved, uh, and for all the government and officials, uh, police and first responders that are um, on the front lines of all of these things. May we pray that God's will be done. <laughs> 